Hello, this is Thomas, K4SWL. If you're new here, I like to do real-time, real-life amateur radio field activation videos. Today, I'm on the summit of High Brighton Mountain here uh, near Lenore, North Carolina. In fact, <laughs> you can see Lenore from here. i got to be a little careful. It's very muddy today. Lenore is right there through those trees. I'll have to put you up a little high so you can see. Uh, haven't been here since last year. I think it was last year I came here. And, uh, yeah, I had to catch my breath a little bit. It was a really nice hike. I think it's about two and three quarter miles, something like that, up here to the summit. And uh, a very moderate hike. I mean, it's just a super easy hike, which is the reason I took it today, frankly. Uh, my goal today, I had a very specific goal in mind. Uh, first of all, wasn't expecting clear weather. It was supposed to rain all day today. And you can see there's tons of clouds around. But it just looks like it's clearing off. I could get rained on a little bit, but I don't think it'll be too bad. It is crazy humid because it's been raining for the past two days. And so it's muddy. You can see here uh, the runoff and everything. It's very muddy here, so i got to be a little careful. But, um, yeah, High Brighton has this uh, big grid that's laid out here. And during uh, Christmas, there's a star that lights up. And at Easter, it's a big cross. And uh, I wrote a little bit about this. I did an activation here last year, and I think I wrote a little bit about High Brighton Mountain and the history of High Brighton Mountain. It, I find these really fascinating. I love uh, kind of connecting a little bit of history to what I'm doing. Um, though I don't do it as much as Thomas, uh, uh, who uh, is a DM1TBE. Hope I didn't get your number wrong there, Thomas. I'm terrible with uh, call signs. My dyslexia sort of kicks in, but uh, Thomas writes some from Germany, and I just absolutely love the history he puts in the field reports on QRPR.com. So make sure you're always checking out QRPR.com. I'll have a field report linked for this very video below, and I'll have links to everything I've be, I used and a little bit more information. And I'll link to that original report where I kind of talk about the history of High Brighton Mountain. But this used to be a, a fairly busy little local summit. Of course, it didn't have all these towers on it before. These are all cell phone towers. And I think probably some repeaters and other things I see here. There's actually a crew out here working on uh, one of the antennas right now. And there's an old fire tower up here. Can't go up it anymore. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's a hang gliding ramp here. I think it's... I think it's out of service right now. Maybe not. But my goal today was to check out the uh, Mystery Ranch Scree 32. I've only taken it on one activation before, and that was uh, Flat Top, uh, which I did, was it last month or the month before? And, which is a pretty easy hike. It's like this one's pretty moderate. And I had it lightly packed because I just wanted to see how it would fit and if it was working well with me, if I had it adjusted properly, and that was the goal of that particular hike. This hike today was, the goal was to load this pack down to make it heavier than I'd normally have it. So I didn't weigh it, but I put in a bunch of extra stuff in here just to weigh it down, which is, feels kind of stupid to do, but <laughs> it's what I did. Because I thought it's better for me on my ankles to do this on a pretty even surface as opposed to like a gnarly uh, single, line, single track you know, uh, path. So I can go out here, test this pack, and push myself a little bit. I wanted to get some good exercise. And I did this about as quickly as I could possibly do it. And uh, it's kind of funny. The reason I have set up the antenna is there was another hiker behind me, a guy named Bill. Bill, if you happen to be watching this, I doubt you will. Um, it's nice meeting you. But he and I talked here a little bit uh, as we both kind of uh, got our breath back. And he said that he was pacing himself off me, and it was like the hardest hike he'd ever done. <laughs> and I'm not, trust me, I am not an athletic hiker. But I was really trying to push myself today. And, um, and I can feel it, and I, I'm really happy about that. I'm really happy about it. I wanted to get some exercise in today. It's going to be a late night for me. Uh, we're doing a Ham Radio Workbench podcast recording tonight, one I'm really looking forward to. Uh, probably by the time this uh, video is published, uh, that episode will be out. We're interviewing... Um, John and possibly Andy both from SDR Play, and uh, that's a wonderful, wonderful British company. Those guys are staying up very, very late their time, or getting up very early, I don't know which, and uh, looking forward to it. But I wanted to get some exercise in today, and I definitely have accomplished that already. And 
haven't had lunch yet. It's about 1.30. I think that's when I actually scheduled my activation on the soda network. Uh, was for 1.30. I don't know what band conditions are like. I'm going to use my Elecraft KX2. I'm not going to show setting up the rest of this. I'm just going to finish it up. I set up this while I was talking to Bill. And uh, I need to put the counterpoises out yet. I've got it set to 20 meters. And I think I'm just going to set here on this uh, concrete um, footing uh, to uh, do the activation. If I can get the camera set up properly uh, to um, so you can see my logs and everything. Really looking forward to doing this. Man, it's so nice. See, it's rained for two days. So today when the sun came out, it's just like there's tons of humidity. It's not actually that hot. It's maybe 70 degrees Fahrenheit. But um, with the humidity, it feels much hotter. And uh, especially after kind of pushing myself hiking. Um, but I mean, can't complain. Uh, the backpack did a wonderful job. It does a great job. The suspension system kind of distributes the weight really nicely. I'm very, very pleased with it. Um, it's, it's just it feels so lightweight compared to other packs I've used in the past. So I'm very pleased with it. And I hope this uh, it's a really good sign. Because most of the time I go on a soda hike, it's not going to be this heavy. Um, I threw in two antenna systems, an extra battery, uh, put in my whole folding chair, which I knew I probably wouldn't use. Um, I'll find it in here, hang on. My folding chair is in here too. I mean, I just don't even really need this today. Um, I had two liters of water in here. I mean, just, just a lot of stuff. Uh, so it's heavier than it needs to be. Okay, I need to stop talking, get the rest of this set up and see if I can get this camera set up to where you'll be able to see what I'm doing uh, while I'm doing the activation. Also, I will use that little trail stool. We'll see what happens. Back in a second. Okay, I'm set up and back. I gotta apologize in advance. The sun is, is very strong and uh, it may be hard for you to see this uh, pad when uh, it's really, <laughs> when it's not behind clouds. So. Uh, apologies for that, but it's just the way it is. Now, I've already called QRL. And again, this is giving me a one-to-one -one SWR, and I, I have the antenna tuner in bypass. We've just made the, just made it uh, resonant um, at the MC7, uh, MC750 antenna, so hopefully this is my soda call. Yes, it is. I may try to log this on hammers. still today.
hear a K in there. I'm going to call CQ. <clears throat> Whoops. <laughs> sorry if I if you if I really was hearing your call sign in there. I'm sorry I couldn't get you right there. But I just can't hear you. I couldn't hear your reply. So. Wait. I just heard an RR. just cannot hear you.
Why is this such tough copy today? That's this local noise. <clears throat> This is where I really need my earphones in. Okay, I'm sorry. I suspect that they're audible, but it's just the noise is covering them up. And I'm not surprised there's noise here. There's all this transmission gear here and everything. Not at all surprised. Tell me my battery's low. When I change to 17 meters, I may hook up an external battery. Another Arizona. Thank you. 
Is it K7 GT? Yeah, I got him. I need to QSY and I've got to go change the antenna. So I'm just going to turn off the camera right now. I need to get my battery out and hook up to this just to give it a little extra oomph. I think I'll just play around on 17 meters a little bit. Probably not for a really long time because I do, I do need to head back down the hill now. Okay, be right back. Okay, so I'm back right now. And let me just say, I can't say enough good things about these little talent cell battery packs. It's rare that you buy something that's inexpensive that works well, but this is one of those rare exceptions. I have three of these now, I think, and uh, they just work great. The plug that comes with them works with an Elecraft radio. It outputs 12 volts, so you turn it on and boom, I've got, uh, got everything I need to... It's actually probably charging the internal battery on the uh, KX2 right now, so yep. And, you know, I don't have a lot of room here to hold it this particular time, but uh, let's just make some room because I'm operating off my legs. Okay, let's go to the 17 meter band, uh, find a nice spot. Sounds good to me, actually. We got about a 1.5 to 1. That's fine with me. I could use my ATU and knock that off, but I'm not even worried about it. still pretty noisy here. I suspect that this is some QRM off of this equipment. Not at all uncommon. I 
I've more than made my activation because my activation really didn't need much more than uh, you know, here's the soda goat page that's pulling up the spots. I'll see if it respots me on 17 meters. If it doesn't, I'll redo it. K7GT, I thought I was hearing him send extra information, so he's actually on a uh, summit as well. W7 so that's in Oregon, I think, is it? Um, so, wow, that's really cool. Summit to summit, five watts on my end, probably. I bet it, I bet KG, say K7GT is also. There we go. It just respotted me. Excellent. here to see six P O T. I hit a seven instead of a six. So I need to erase the seven one. Band conditions are flaky today because it's like I heard several people there and now they're all gone. Oh, nice. Vince, come on. One. Vince, I'll give you one more try here and then I'll probably need to move on. Okay. 
Oh, I really wanted to get you in the logs, Vince. Maybe he'll come back up here in a second. Is that right? Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, just doing a summits on the air activation. I'm a ham radio operator, and it's called summits on the air. So I'm a I'm a ham radio operator. So I come out here and um, bring my little radio and make contacts with people all over the world. I use Morse code to do it, but be there. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And because of the what you call long distance radio, not just like ham radio for, for like regular radio. Yeah. You know, radio too, yeah. Way, yeah. Oh yeah. Anyway, you got exposed to Cuban music and stuff. Oh nice. Hang on just one second, let me I just heard a faint signal. heard somebody in there they may come back in just a second but yeah wow oh wow excellent they got a really healthy amateur radio community in um uh, brazil i mean a really healthy one and um oh here he goes
Yes, got him. Okay, good. I'm good with a 229. Okay, I'm gonna cut it short right now because I, I need to leave, actually. I'm glad I got Vince in there. I've got a lot to do today yet, so I really need to run on. Very, very pleased with this activation. A total of 16 contacts all over the place. And I'm sorry if I didn't get you worked. There was definitely some noise here. I wasn't able to hear this uh, particular summit number. It was fading out on me. You may have caught it. I think if I can go back through the thing and listen to it again, I'll find it. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, I could not catch that uh, summit this time. Um, and I don't see it in the list either. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to say goodbye right now. Um, hop off here. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I'm going to talk to this fellow. Uh, you may have heard me talking to him off to the side. And uh, talk to him about amateur radio because he seemed a little interested. And his father was, is getting back into amateur radio in Brazil. Um, you may have heard a little bit of that conversation off to the side while I was working there. Uh, so anyway, take care. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. And uh, if you get a chance to go out and play radio outdoors, do so. <laughs> Just get outside with your radio. They like they perform well outdoors, I believe. Uh, just like just like you do. And um, if you know somebody who needs to. Uh, who needs a little help getting back into amateur radio or who's new to the hobby, please lend them a hand because really we are our own ambassadors in this hobby. So, um, yeah, let's help each other out. Thank you so much again. I'm going to make this really short. <laughs> yeah, right, Thomas, you never make anything short. Uh, thank you for all the support you give me on Patreon and the Coffee Fund. Thank you for coming along with me today on this activation. And until next time, take care and seven threes.